let's do some of the Tao Yin. At Celestial Tai Chi College, we have 16 forms that we teach, and I'm going to go through eight of them today. Uh, we stretch up, we stretch down, we stretch out, we turn the body and we turn all of the limbs. So look out for all of these rotational movements. Uh, also look out for some of the hand forms. We have a phoenix eye fist where we curl the fingers in, press the middle finger into the laogong point there, index finger up slightly, thumb press to the side. That is our phoenix eye fist, makes a nasty little point here but pressing on acupressure point in the palm and acupressure points on the side of the index finger there. Look out for that particular palm. We also do a regular fist where you curl the thumb on the outside, but we also press into the laogong point when we make that fist. We also do a hook, all the fingers and thumb point together and the wrist quite flexed. So I look out for those forms. Let's get into it. Stepping one foot apart. And we're starting off with the elegant crane greets the morning sun. Subtle weight shift forward, lift the heels. Doesn't have to be very high. Turning the arms, the wrists, forming the phoenix eye fist and slowly lower, soft knees. Out to the side, looking left, lifting the heels, circling the palms. Phoenix eye fist, pressing the palm, slowly lower. Other side, and you can slowly lift the heels. Forming the fist, lower. Pressing to the back now, but no turn. Again, lifting the heels, and you choose how high. Form the fist, slowly lower. And we finish off with one more to the centre, to the front rather. Circle. And lower. releasing and we're going to do that again. You might like to breathe in as we lift and it's a slow breath and then out. If that is too slow do please breathe as often as you need. Turning the neck as much as suits you and lower. Breathing in and out to the back, lower, once more to the front. Easing up. Moving on, the monkey presents fruit. Beautiful exercise for balance, weight shift, circle. Shifting the weight, heel kick. You choose how high. Put the foot down gently with control, sit back, circle. Form a regular fist, roll it in, that is a reverse punch down. Straighten the posture, sitting back. A kick again, using your core muscles to help you balance. Closing, draw the arm across. Back to one foot apart. And we're not going to ease up because we're going to go straight into the other side. Backs of hands are facing circle. Grab the ground, lift first, then kick. Sitting back, forming the fist, press into the palm, 
gentle tilt. Straighten up, sitting back. Second kick. Ready to close, draw the arm across, back to one foot apart and lower. Let's do that again. Shifting the weight so we can easily put the foot forward. Now extend your arms out. We are presenting willingly here. Sitting back. Smooth weight transfer. Gentle tilt reverse punch. Sitting back. Ready to close. Draw the hand across. And the other side. Core muscles drawn in. Press in the palm, reverse punch. Ready to close. And now we'll lift up. Elephant curls its trunk, sinking, shifting weight, stepping out to horse riding stance. Whatever width and depth suits you, backs of hands together, arms are rolled in, roll them right out. Starting with the little finger, leave the index finger out, press into that acupressure point in the middle of the shoulders. Stretch, shifting weight. Back to one foot apart. We're not going to rise up. We'll go straight into the second side. Set the width of your stance for your comfort. Roll the arms out. Circle the elbows up and out. Press, shifting the weight. And let's do that again. Crossing the arms. Horse riding stance, strong. We are elephants curling the trunk. Straighten your arms if you can. Other side. Shifting weight back to one foot apart. Easing up. Moving into Hold Sky Press Mountain. We're going to step back. Make sure you've got enough room. Float in the arms. Left foot back, left palm up. Other palm at the elbow. Turn, but keep your legs strong. Don't turn your knee. Back again. Front arm, straight up. Other arm down and turn the neck, stretch, soften, bit of a circle to close. Floating, right foot back, right palm up. Keep your knee and hips strong, use your core. 
we're following that palm. Hold the sky, press the mountain, look out to the horizon. Circle to close. And let's do that again, floating, stepping back, left foot, left palm. Follow the palm, just turning as far as is comfortable. And if you're able, straighten both your arms, stretch, soften. Notice we don't hold the stretch very long. Right foot, right hand. Follow the palm. Stretch. And closing. Easy enough. The tiger crouch. Listen to your body, only sink as far as your knees and hips are happy. Sink, cross hands. Stepping out, let the hands draw you across. Palms up, forming a regular fist, pressing the palm. Again, a reverse punch down, only sink far as is comfortable. Back to a horse riding stance, backs of hands, pinch the fingers and thumb, flick. Other side. Palm draws the weight across. Forming the fists, keep your posture upright if you can. We are proud tigers, crouching. Horse riding stance, pinch and flick. Let's do that again. Remember to keep your crouch comfortable. You don't have to go far at all. Gradually forming that fist. And last one. Closing, easing up. Good workout for the legs. Now we'll give them a little breather, catching a star in the sky. Turning. Tuck the right hand behind the back on the Ming Men, low back acupressure point. Palm out. Here's our hook. Reach out, form the hook. Turn the palm up. Bring it down. Notice the rotation of the body. Palm to the back, sweep down. Soft knees, draw in your core muscles. Forming fists, soft knees again. Press and lower. Turning, searching the sky, reaching out for the star, grasping it, pop it on your palm, bring it down, spread that light all through the body, 
down across the feet, other side and then up, gradually forming fists. Press. Easing up. Let's do that again. Turning, searching, reaching out. Following the palm and stretch. Lifting, gradually forming fists and press. Reach out, grasp the star. Forming fists, straightening the posture. And easy now. Albatross flap, flaps its wings. Sinking cross hands again. Out to horse riding stance. Again, you set the width and the depth of your stance. Rounded arms. Flap your feather tips up and down four times. Circle around. And now in and out, loose wrists, forming the phoenix eye fist, stepping one foot apart, gradually dissolve those fists. Other side, horse riding stance, rounded arms, flap up and down. And then in and out, really loosen those wrists. Press into the Laogong point. Gradually dissolve. Other side. Up and down. In and out. Phoenix eye fist. Relaxing. And last side. One foot apart, gradually dissolve and ease up. Let's finish with the traveller dusting the robes. Palms up and turn, palms down. We need to look at the corner, palms up and now sinking, press. Rolling the arms, now shift weight, dusting the robes. Sitting back, weight forward, brush away the dust. Pulling back and we are pushing. Close, back to one foot apart. Palms up, turn, palms down, coming back to the corner, pressing, this lovely rotation of the arms, brush away the dust. Pull 
pull back and push. Closing. Lowering. Let's do that again. Lift. Turn the body. Corner. Rolling the arms. Brush away any tensions and stresses. Get rid of them. And push. Closing back to one foot apart. Lifting, turn. Corner. Rolling the arms. Little finger first, brush. And push. Closing, one foot apart, lower, easing up, and stepping in, 